Okay, one thing I like about this uh, electronics hobby that uh, I'm into is if you get tired of doing one thing, you can tack off in another direction and do something else. And it keeps your interest going with it, uh, which is very nice. Uh, this is what I showed last, uh, last time. This is this uh, pop bottle coil that Johnny Davro came up with that works just great. And there it is, uh, power and 12 uh, LEDs there, another four down there on a double A battery and uh, that's pretty darn neat folks that's probably less than 20 milliamps right there and that's putting out a ton of light and that's that uh, soda bottle uh, wrapped up in 24 gauge wire with uh, six turns of wire on the bottom by the way one goes clockwise that one there and that one goes counterclockwise just use an NPN transistor almost any of them work if you're going to drive it hard, you got to use a, a larger transistor, but a lot of the NPN transistors work for this Tesla coil kind of exciter. But anyway, this is what I got into today. I went off in another direction. I'm also working with pulse motors. And there's my little uh, pulse motor driver that you've seen before. That's the light multiplier circuit. And uh, I've got a stable rotor now to run it uh, with. But uh, now that I got that, I've also got this, and there's Maggie being driven by that remote satellite rotor that's 12 inches away from the driver. The motor on this side is driving through space Maggie's magnet, and uh, Maggie works off of uh, induction or off of a spinning magnet in front of her. And uh, you notice I got a compass here pointed north south. I think this has something to do with why this is working. I don't know, but uh, I wanted to demonstrate a couple things. There's a glass of water here, okay? If I put the glass of water in the middle there, it still dries. It dries right through water. And I've shown this before, but it, it is an interesting phenomenon. It'll drive through a lead acid battery. This is magnetic flux lines passing through space affecting another magnet in a magnetic lockup and then driving a generator scenario. That's Maggie's basically a generator. And then it'll also go through aluminum, this big chunk of aluminum, but it slows it down. And uh, this is one thing that uh, I notice when you put a metal between the two of them, it will affect it. It still works, but it does affect it. Now, of course, any ferrous material, this will stop dead in a doorneal. But this will also work uh, through uh, biological materials like a book or anything wood passes right through it. So you could have this running on the other side of a wall, say, and then uh, in the kid's bedroom, you could have a pickup that picked up the energy and then lit, lit the lights in another room. So I thought that was very interesting that uh, you know, this thing works like that. But this is the other thing I wanted to show. With that unit running over there, that far away, I still get this kind of effect with the glass of water. See that? And that's picking up the energy way over here. It's not affecting this at all, in other words. That uh, energy over there doesn't affect this at all. And same thing with uh, the chunk of aluminum thing. If I put that there, uh, it's obviously absorbing a lot of the energy from the other circuit. But it's not affecting, it's not affecting this. That energy over there has no bearing on this. These are different frequencies and different kinds of energy going off. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, share with people that that uh, uh, some of the people I've been working with, they get real frustrated when they can't get a project to work. And just stop what you're doing and do something else. And that's what I do. 30-40% um, of what I try never works. I just go on and do something else. And uh, then you get something working, like that thing that I got working really good yesterday. And then I go back and work on something else. So anyway, that's a little show for tonight, um, um, showing how you can keep your interests alive in electronics by doing different things, different projects at the same time. Thanks for watching.